in the making. Materials and supplies from all over the world. 305 meters long and 61 meters wide. 500 total staff alongside thousands of collaborators. 32 million man hours to date. Anchored out at sea on Block 17 off the coast of Angola. 34 wells. Attention, attention, attention all personnel. We are ready for first oil. This is a drill, this is a drill, this is a drill. Please perform, proceed to your muster station. Please proceed to your muster station. This is a drill, this is a drill. SDV will call you. Audio 114 fire. Reported by AGNP. We do continuously exercise and drill every week. Uh, and we bring them up to uh, the standard because a lot of them are new and we, uh, we want to bring them up to the standard required for a running installation. Please! For the live boat one, Timoteo Abrao from Sonadiet. À partir du moment où tu as pointé, tu es répertorié en vert. Euh, si tu es en gris, c'est que tu es répertorié mais tu n'as pas pointé au bon endroit. Si tu es en rouge, c'est que tu n'as pas pointé. Yes, so I confirm Timoteo Abrao is not here, he's not in the muster point. Pour l'instant, on a quelqu'un qui, qui est manquant à l'appel, donc on peut considérer que c'est un blessé. Voilà, donc euh, on aurait peut-être une victime dans l'exercice euh, toujours. Yes, Mr. Schicker speaking. Ok, gents, the drill is over. Thank you. É algo que a gente já está habituado. Na realidade, tentamos ao máximo despachar as atividades e cumprir todas as regras de segurança e chegar o mais rápido possível aqui. Although the commissioning phase for the FPSO CLAV is not yet over, systems are ready for production to be launched. This is a complex procedure, a far cry from just plug and play. For the men and women on board, it will take a full three days. Before you uh, start up an installation, you always perform a, a full check on your uh, emergency shutdown system because you want to prove that the integrity of the emergency shutdown system is uh, is intact. Three, two, one. Yes, it's working. The Neo Zero uh, was called in the old days a blackout. It means that everything is shut off. You have no power supply. You have no backup of batteries. Every breaker of every battery is open. So you have, in our case, no ignition source. Yes. Is this on? You open manually, that's why you don't have feedback. Okay, so we are going to restart the plant. Okay, so everybody put his radio to Simplex 1. Okay, channel 1. Channel 1. Okay, so let's go. Everybody knows what they have to do. Just don't forget, after each step, try to give as much as information you can. Okay, so let's go. Nous, c'est le redémarrage de l'installation. C'est-à-dire, c'est euh, venir avec le défibrillateur et puis essayer de réanimer euh, le FPSO pour que, euh, eh bien, il, commence à, à, il recommence à battre et que petit à petit, euh, tous ses membres et ses organes se remettent à, se remettent à vivre. En fait. Yes, uh, all UPS uh, are override in emergency room and now uh, we start uh, emergency diesel. Pour pouvoir redémarrer l'installation, il faut absolument qu'on réalimente en, en énergie. Donc, le top side. On va démarrer le, le groupe de secours. Le groupe de secours va nous permettre d'alimenter en, en basse tension les autres équipements, dont les essentiels générateurs. Et après, ça déroule en fait. Everybody is learning from a shutdown. It's it's an, uh, an occasion where uh, the situation is different than during normal operation, and that's a good lesson for for, for the whole team. The maintenance team reached a steady state in just over two hours, which would have allowed production to continue freely under normal operating conditions. The ultimate safety procedure is in place. The next phase will change just one element on board, but it is a major one. Ça prend des mois à préparer à ce que le bébé soit opérationnel, mais le vrai moment, on va 
va dire, c'est qu'on se décide, euh, on a le feu vert pour euh, lancer des opérations et importer du gaz. The first time gas is introduced on board, it will be via the gas export line. Clob has the ability to import and export gas along the same line, depending on the needs of the installation. This ability will allow for venting the nitrogen that is currently protecting the line, the gas lift procedure, which will help the oil and its trajectory from the seabed to the FPSO, and fueling the gas turbines on board. We have to vent uh, the, uh, the gas export line. The first part is uh, nitrogen. We have to vent it first, and then when we have the gas, then we can ignite the, uh, the plant, probably tomorrow morning. It is the middle of the night when the procedure is started, but there is a problem with one of the first valves in the process. Because certain information was missing, the control system has blocked the valve closed in order to protect its integrity. You can try to inhibit the PSL, I don't know if you'll be enough. That's what we try, but Alex will come when you come uh, receive uh, Alex. I'm going to get out of the lift to force the van of security in overture. En cas de vraiment besoin, on peut tout, euh, si le, on me donne l'ordre, je peux tout, tout bypasser pour justement euh, ouvrir la vanne, quoi, être, euh, avoir la main absolue dessus. Quoi. Ouais. Mais là, en mode gaz euh, vas-y, ça passait en, en non-gaz export, donc par des fois en gaz import, on va dire. Ouais, disons que la, la différence entre Alex et nous, c'est Alex, c'est vraiment le monsieur système. Donc, euh, il euh, faut le rassurer, mais c'est vrai qu'il n'a pas la, la vision euh, process comme nous on l'a. Par contre, il y a une vision système que nous on n'a pas du tout. Et c'est ce qu'il faut faire quand il faut le faire. D'où euh, le, le besoin de travailler en équipe. The valve has been opened and the gas in procedure can begin. The procedure continues throughout the night and takes approximately 9 hours to complete. Once all the inert nitrogen gas has been vented out, a highly symbolic event takes place. Attention, attention all personnel, attention all personnel. We're going to try to ignite the flare. We're going to ignite the flare. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. The moment the flare lit up, uh, okay, it's... Uh, the first step towards first oil. It's the first visible event that you have hydrocarbon in the plant. You see uh, the pellet going up and whoop, flare ignites. So the effect is uh, on, the, well, on the people. Uh, it's uh, yes, now we are there. Flaring is a safety measure. If need be, all hydrocarbons in the lines can be directed towards the flare and burnt off. On est dans le futur, c'est que notre torche sera en permanence fermée, donc on n'aura plus de, de flammes, on n'aura plus des vents à l'atmosphère. C'est 100% envoyé à terre pour que le gaz soit liquéfié. Just as all roads lead to Rome, the same is true on board the FPSO. More than 170 kilometers of piping are controlled and directed by over 8,500 valves. To make sure that the oil and gas reach the right place, the operators have worked for five days. They have ensured that every line is flowing in the right direction, that every open valve is indeed supposed to be open, and that every closed valve is indeed supposed to be closed. This isn't a complicated procedure, but it is a fastidious one that requires many man hours and great attention to detail. It consists of small steps and large ones. Some of the larger valves can take up to 300 manual turns to open or close. Là, il y a le bruit un peu, on commence à circuler, à avoir un peu d'adrénaline, il faut aller envoyer les opérateurs dehors. Et on commence aussi à circuler dans les boucles de production, donc ça c'est vraiment euh, <rire> le début. Et après on arrive au prêt à, à ouvrir le premier puits avec euh, tout le monde qui attend. Et, et ça c'est bien ça. <rire> c'est ouais, bien. <rire> voilà.
Okay, so then first I would like to thank everybody for his contribution to what we achieved so far. And I'm ready for startup. So great, great job done by everybody. Thank you. Well, this morning is uh, the day where we have been working for uh, all time, the whole project. We're going to start the wells in uh, hopefully in 15 minutes. Last night uh, we did the last preparations, the last tests, and now we are uh, ready to open the well. So it's uh, D Day for Club. Uh, Alors ce qui se passe c'est qu'on va, va préparer le puits dans le sens où on va ouvrir la vanne de fond. On va ajouter un peu de méthanol dans le tubing, monter en pression pour équilibrer euh, la pression autour de la vanne. Now you are ready to, to open the well. It will take 9 hours to purge the diesel that was injected into the lines to protect and equalize the pressures. After much anticipation, the first oil drops from far below the surface finally arrive on board the FPSO cloth. La première huile. Vas-y. Voilà, de l'huile. C'est un moment de concrétisation, quoi. C'est-à-dire, c'est, ça fait, ça fait, ça fait pour la plupart d'entre nous, euh, guide start-up, pilote, euh, un an et demi, deux ans qu'on est sur le sujet, et, et, et de voir la première huile, bon, c'est, ouais, c'est vraiment la concrétisation. Quoi. It is a great moment for Clav, and the management team has come on board for the occasion. Normally, when we call your name, we mention your name, it's, to, it's together with Clav. Clav and you, it's one word. I'm very, very uh, touched, and uh, thank you very much. Come Samida, and muito uh, obrigada. Everybody is working towards the first oil. Not only the team on board, but also the, the whole project team behind it that has been working on, on the design and the construction of the FPSO for, for many years. Everybody is working towards the first oil. That's why we have the project, that's why we have cloth. We are here to produce oil. For the first oil, it's also the pride that people have. To, to be part of, of, of a team that starts up a giant project as, uh, as, as Clov. And that, uh, well, working in, 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 in our business, yeah, that, that gives you a thrill, that uh, it's a kick. <laughs> 